So you're doing really well with the CSS here. We can now control fonts and colors and we can customize our links and we're really gaining control over how our page looks in, in the web browser. What we're going to do now is, is just take a step back and consider how we can actually change the layout of, of the uh, document a little bit by using margins and, and borders and so on. Uh, because often you, know, you, want to, might, might, you might want to add some more elaborate design elements to your page and so this is, this is how we're going to do it. And we're going to actually introduce a new type of construct in CSS called, called a, a class. So let's just see how that works. So instead of, instead of writing the name of a tag here, what we can do is we can write anything we like. And I'm going to call this one indent. Okay. And so you notice I've got a full stop and then the name. So uh, we can basically put anything here. But as I said, I'm going to put indent here, but as long as it hasn't got spaces in. And my indent is going to say margin left 10 pixels. Okay, so you might be guessing already what that's going to do. Margin left 10 pixels, right? So it's probably going to have a margin on the left, which is 10 pixels in size, right? Uh, so let's, let's see how we can use it. Well, I'm going to go down into this index file here, which we're looking at on the left and actually see if I can create some paragraphs with, with an indent. And uh, this is how I do it. So if I've, if I've specified a class, uh, I just need to do this. Okay, so I just inside my p tag, I've added a bit of code to tell it which class I'm going to use. And you can see when I reloaded the page that actually now I have uh, an indent on that paragraph. And Let's, let's just say we had some more uh, text in there. All right, whoops. And we reload. You can, see that the, you can see that the whole of that paragraph is now indented, uh, which might be a slightly unusual way to do it. Normally, you'd maybe indent the first line uh, and then, then after that, uh, stop indenting. Well, we can do that too. So we can actually uh, just specify that maybe the indent is only on here. So span class equals indent and span. Okay, and let's see what that does. So now I've just sort of wrapped up the word the in, in a special indent. Okay, so did you see that? So now only the first word is indented, but then the indent affects the rest of the line, but then not, not the rest of the paragraph which is quite a neat trick. So that, that's kind of more how you would do typesetting in, in a book or something like that. You might have an indentation. It just, it's a nice way of doing typesetting, standard way. So that's, that's using classes. And uh, I, I could actually um, uh, uh, do, do all kinds of things. So I can, you can imagine there's all kinds of margins you can specify. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a class called gap below. Okay, and that's going to have margin bottom 25 pixels. Okay, and so if, if I set my paragraph as being gap below, and I make sure I've saved both my files, did you see that, that, that the uh, second paragraph jumped down? So gap below is this new class that has uh, a margin at the bottom. So the margin is, is a really good uh, way of kind of shoving things around. And you can be really, um, it can be really powerful. I mean, it's actually, uh, as we'll see in the, when we look at the bootstrap library in, in a later lesson, uh, actually margins are really the way to control exactly where everything is on the page. Okay, uh, so let's, let's just see if we can mess around with, with navigation. So we can actually specify uh, different uh, classes of link, of course, as well. So you might want to... Um, you don't just have to have one link type, you could actually have um, another link type. So we could call it um, uh, green link, okay? So when they hover over a green link, uh, we'll do, we won't do it that color, we'll do something else. So color uh, is going to be green. Okay, so it's just to show you that you can have different types of link. And you know, on your on these selectors, you can specify the hover thing as well. 
Uh, so let's say in my nav bar, class equals green link. Save that. Save that. Oh, no, no underscore. Green link like that. Reload. So I've now got different types of uh, different types of links. So you might want to, you know, you can use that maybe to differentiate the different areas of the site. So you can you can set classes uh, on on anything. And actually, once you've defined a class, you can apply that class to all different tags. It doesn't, so whereas before we were just setting up the styles for say the body tag in which case only the body tag can take on those styles but with classes with these dot class name things we can set uh, set up uh, styles for um, you know any 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 bit of the text that we want especially when we use that span class which allows us to sort of cut in put, put a style on just one bit of text uh, to emphasize it or to indent it as we saw and we saw that we can use margins to kind of shove things around on the page mm -hmm.